best smoothies around daily harvest 10 out of 10 highly recommend today's video we're going to be talking about the boxycharm premium and base box we're going to talk about some of the full variations we are seeing for august so before we jump into the video guys as always if you are new here hi hello and welcome to the hot mess express where we embrace that hot mess we run on a ton of caffeine which hmm, i'm now working on my daily harvest smoothie of heavenly deliciousness and um, it's a judgment-free, drama-free, and stress-free zone. So we sit back, relax, we talk about makeup, we play in makeup, which, by the way, if you guys are interested in how I did create this kind of simple, glittery, sparkly look, there will be a get ready with me that is going up tomorrow at 9 p.m. Eastern time. I try and put up what I call my sassy Sunday get ready with me. So definitely stick around and subscribe so you don't miss out. Also, my, my nails, looks, all that stuff, I do little tutorials and pictures or whatever all on Instagram. I'd love to have you guys follow me over there as well. And let's just go ahead and jump into some of the variations we are seeing for this month's August 2020 BoxyCharm base and premium boxes. Okay guys, so if you guys are new to BoxyCharm, BoxyCharm is a monthly subscription service where they do offer two monthly subscriptions and then a third subscription which is more quarterly and it, or not more quarterly, it is quarterly and it is more of a lifestyle geared type of box so first and foremost the base box is $25 a month and you will receive at least $125 worth of products okay so starting with the choices as always you do get to customize one item in your base box and the choices this month were a couple different things three of them I have sitting in front of me and I did purchase all of these myself just letting you guys know the first choice was a Too Faced Born This Way multi sculpting concealer I love this concealer guys and this had a ton of choices to choose from. Next we had a choice of the Glam Glow Moisture Trip Omega Rich Moisturizer. This has a $54 retail value. I actually was able to pick it up. Oh my nails. They're still wet. Sorry guys. I was actually able to pick this up during the add-ons for $12. And then we did have the choice of the QMS Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. This has a retail value of $105. I actually do have this on today day in place of foundation. I love this. It's a very, very light tinted moisturizer. But again, I just do some spot concealing. Like I said, this full look will be in or be up tomorrow for you guys. Um, but this was one of the choices. And again, I picked it up for $12 during add-ons. And then the last choice item was the Dr. Brandt. It was a pore cleansing cleaner. And again, I have that. I love it. I enjoy it. So I honestly feel like any of the items that you do uh, pick or choose, you're gonna be really happy with all of them. So let's go ahead. I was on Instagram and I saw Boxy Preview did post a picture and I'll pop the picture up over here for you guys of a full variation box that we are seeing. If you did choose the Too Faced Born This Way concealer, which by the way has a $29 retail value. What we are seeing is of course the concealer. Then we are seeing the Thank Me Later eyeshadow primer by Elizabeth Mott. I don't believe I've tried the primer out. Uh, let me know down below if you guys received this or if you have tried it out. Let all of us know because we love to hear, or I love to hear y'all's feedback and I feel like you guys find it very helpful when you guys talk amongst yourselves in the comment section about things you've tested out, tried out, etc. Next we are seeing a four piece brush set by Morphe. This is the I Got This set and I do believe there's, yeah, it looks like there's four brushes in here. And I don't think that the Morphe brushes are bad, to be honest with you guys. I used Morphe brushes a lot. I actually still have some Morphe brushes in here. So I think if you do get these brushes in your base box, I think you're going to be really happy with them. Next, I think this palette is absolutely gorgeous. This is the Violet Voss Essential 2 palette. I love the top row has those neutral, beautiful, buttery shades, and then the bottom has those pinky purples, the blues. The, it's just such a pretty palette and I'm hoping that maybe we see this palette in boxy pop-up which is coming up August 12th early access for premium and luxe members and August 11th it opens up for base box members so I'm really hoping that this is part of the 
boxy pop-up or eventually we'll see it in add-ons. Last in this variation, we see the Trustique, a matte for every mood. Now, in yesterday's video, I think it was, or the day before, I told you guys, like, I'm not for sure how many are going to be in this set, but there is a total of six. And I think these are, like, good size little lippies. And I have to say, I do like the shade range. I feel like if you really prefer neutral, neutral shades, you are going to have that in there. And then if you like that deep, vampy type of look, you're definitely going to find that in here. Now, keep in mind... I've talked about this with you guys. I am getting better about mixing more of my shades. So on some videos, you guys are seeing me wear darker lipsticks and then maybe a little bit of an ombre in the center. So, you know, if the last three shades, those reds, the burgundy, the purpley shades, if that kind of makes you a little nervous, just remember to go with that lightest shade in there, pop it right in the center, put a little bit of gloss on top, and you're gonna have beautiful, voluptuous lips. So don't let these shades flip you out at all. Like I told you guys, when Jen Loves Reviews came out with her Ofer Cosmetics Metamorphosis, the trio, it really got me thinking like I could go with deeper, darker, vampy shades and just lighten that stuff up, you know? So don't be afraid to mix and match. Okay, I really want to focus more so on some of the premium boxes we are seeing. Just like the base box, you do get to customize one item in your premium box. Now, as far as the choices went for the premium box, you do get to customize, like I said, the one item, but here's the options that you had for your choices. And you guys, I'm telling y'all, I felt like this. I'm thinking back of like the past seven boxes, these premium choices have, were definitely my favorite. So we have the Ola Hendrickson Banana Bright Face Primer, which I do have on today, paired with my QMS Tinted Moisturizer. I love this. Now, I don't know if you have oily skin, how you're gonna feel about this. I have pretty normal, sometimes dry skin. Right now, it's very normal. But I am loving this paired with just a tinted moisturizer. And the nice thing about this is not only is it a primer, but y'all have been telling me you can actually use it as a highlighter as well. So. That was one choice. The next choice we had was the Sunday Riley CEO CEO Rich Hydration Cream. Now again, like I told you guys in yesterday or the day before this video, I don't know if it's go going to come in a box. Don't be alarmed if it doesn't. I've seen it in other subscription boxes coming without a box, but this was one of the options. And then the last option that we had was again by Sunday Riley, and this is the A Plus High Dose Retinoid Serum. I think this one's like an $85 value and this one is like a $65 value. Sunday Riley Skincare, I have used it for a long time and I find that it works really well. So those were your choices for the premium box. As far as some of the full variations that we are seeing, we are seeing if you did choose the A Plus Sunday Riley High Dose Retinoid Serum, you are seeing, uh, it does look like some people are getting a MAC lipstick. Then we are seeing the Fenty Beauty, and this is like the oh, retractable brush. My brain went boop. So we're seeing the Fenty Beauty retractable brush in this variation, which on here, Boxy Box Sneak, it says this is variation 51. Then we're seeing the Dermalect XL Lash Volumizer. I don't think this is a mascara. I thought that this was like a lash serum. Let me know down below. My brain is so I could be off, but I'm pretty sure this was a last bo lash boosting type of serum. And then we are seeing a milk makeup liner. And then across the board, everybody will be getting the Ciate London palette, which I think is a very, very pretty palette. You have some mattes in there. You have the shimmer metallic-y looks in here. And I feel like it's one of those palettes where not only you can you create like pretty simple neutral type of looks or I'm not gonna say natural because makeup's not really natural, but a neutral type of look, but you can do N neutral with a pop of color kind of like what I've done today I've got like more like brown shimmers and golds but then along my lash line I did the bow shade and the Artemis palette right along my lash line just to give like a little to the to the look so across the board everybody will be also my understanding will be receiving the Ciate London eyeshadow palette and I've got a couple 
I think one or two Ciate London palettes and I do like their formula so I'm excited to try this one out so let me know your thoughts on this variation of 51 I'll be honest with you guys I am excited to try out the Ciate London eyeshadow palette the milk makeup liner and I would be excited for the derma dermalect uh, lash serum now here is one another variation now i don't know what variation this is i'm going to pop the picture up this is by boxycharm news and of course it is the ciate london eyeshadow palette that we're seeing this is the dermalect lash serum so we're seeing that again then of course your choice which again this is a variation with the sunday riley a plus another box with a mac lipstick and i really like this particular shade of the mac lipstick it looks very neutral very beige very me <laughs> boring <laughs> so and then what i was so excited to see is gerard cosmetics you guys know how much i love gerard cosmetics lipsticks lips liners the clean canvas eye base the bb cream like you guys know you guys know how much your girl loves her drawer cosmetics matter of fact even the setting sprays like i just got this and look how much i've gone through already of the this is the coconut setting spray it's delicious it smells amazing like you want to eat it drink it whatever but don't that's not safe anyhow so this is actually the liner the liquid liner now i personally have never tried that out because i have mature lids and i don't have the steadiest of hands so i'm the girl that will spend like 15 minutes trying to do a winged eye eyeliner and one side looks absolutely amazing and the other side is going did you even put in the effort you know what i mean so anyways we're going to get to see gerard cosmetics in our box again which like i said i absolutely love we've seen their lip liners in past boxes and i'm really hoping to start seeing the setting sprays you know even if it's like this size setting spray and not the full size i would love to see that in our box because i feel like everybody needs to experience the setting sprays the watermelon one and the mint chocolate chip and the coconut the orange dreams okay i digress anywho really good setting sprays um then the last thing that we're seeing in here which i was kind of like meh about this particular item this is the daily concepts daily brush now for me i have two of these both that i have received in different subscription boxes and i'll tell you guys i have one and then my youngest daughter went ahead and took the other one and she uses it now i'll tell you guys this is i'm talking a little too fast okay try it again this is really good for dry brushing and exfoliating your skin so if you're you know looking for something like that you will enjoy this brush this is a very good brush for that the reason I was a little like meh about it is I feel like this is definitely more like lifestyle or something, something I just didn't expect to see in the premium box. That's just my opinion. Um, obviously it's a subscription box, so you obviously have to keep an open mind and be willing to receive whatever. This is a $35 box and this item alone being 80 some dollars, you've already made your $35 back. So this, this daily concepts brush i mean really, really it's not that big of a deal everything else in this box is really good and really amazing so that's just a me problem <laughs> you know because if you just if you look at the large picture here you're getting a 35 dollar box that is worth at least 175 dollars worth of goodies and all the other items in here are really good but like i said i already have this brush so I think that's probably why my brain goes that way now last again with a premium box is what we are going to talk about and it's a lot of repetitive things on here in this particular one and this is hashtag boxy pop up and this is again i'm just sticking with all the pictures i've seen thus far at least the day i'm filming are with the sunday riley a plus retinol serum everything is the same that we've got the well pretty close to the same we've got the milk makeup liner we've got the dermalect serum or yeah a serum we've got another mac lipstick the ciate london eyeshadow palette and then we see the after spa slip on exfoliator this i'm not for sure about i don't know much on this let me know down below if you guys have tried this before i think what this is is like 
to get your back exfoliating towels where you can kind of like get your back kind of like you see them um, if you do like sunless tanners you'll, you'll see some of have those little like things where you can okay I don't know what I'm doing but you know you guys get the gist of this so anyways now this box I'm not mad about this one because I mean it's good to exfoliate your back you know and I think that a lot of the times like that's something that we don't think to do so I honestly I wouldn't be mad with this one but anyways let me know down below you guys thoughts on that so as far as boxy pop-up goes like I said early access is August 10th this is when you're gonna be able to jump in there and get up to 80% off of all kinds of goodies like I said I was able to snag really good products for like $12 for add-ons. So I can't wait to see what Boxy Pop-Up will have in store. I actually did a whole video showing some of the sneaky peekies of the things that we will see in Boxy Pop-Up. Like I said, if you are new to Boxy Charm and you want to sign up, I will have a link down below in my description box as well as in my comment section. I'll pin the post for you guys as well as a coupon code, which I will pop up here, the little picture. You can get $6 towards your Boxy Pop-Up purchase. Ah! I've literally refilmed that like four times because I struggled over everything. So anyways, if you want $6 towards your boxy pop-up purchase, definitely use that code, which I will pop up here somewhere. And if you do decide to use my link to sign up, thank you guys in advance for that. That is an affiliate link. So I will earn a little bit of a commission. So thank you guys in advance. I greatly appreciate it. Moving on from there, I did want to touch base and let you guys know I still have a giveaway going on. It is the Artemis palette. This is my personal palette right here. And definitely check my description box for that. You do have to jump over to that specific video. One other thing I did want to talk to you guys about is a lot of you guys have asked me about a pause button. Will they ever come out with being able to pause your subscription? I went ahead and I did personally ask Joe that question because I think it was a, you know, it's a really good question. And he said, no, with the way we have set up the algorithm, just go ahead, cancel your account. As long as you go back and reactivate that same account, you're not going to have to worry about repeats because that account has a list of everything you've received in your account. So you're not going to get or have to worry about repeats. And that was like a light bulb going off for me. I was like, that's genius. Like, that's amazing. So anyways, guys, wanted to let you guys know about that because I see that that comment asked or that question, because I see that question asked all the time. And I thought it was an excellent question. And I went ahead, like I said, asked Joe about it and he cleared the air. We don't need a pause button. You just cancel, you come back at any time activate the exact same account you had and poof you're not getting repeats so yay thank you joe for that anyways guys that is all for today's video let me know if you guys have gotten your boxy charm i have not received mine yet but when i do you guys will know because i'll be popping up some unboxing videos for you guys anyways guys let me know what your choices were what your favorite item was and what you were most excited to see in your box. And until next time as always i hope you have a wonderful beautiful and blessed day kisses from kentucky Mwah. bye